We're on, folks. Good morning, Mac of Conception. I'd like to welcome everyone back on lo this lovely Thursday, April 23rd. Uh, bright and sunny going to be here today, at least for most of it. Uh, hopefully it is where you are. And that would be a good question for one of our guests today. So now, uh, as we said, sports have kind of died out. So we're just going to go right to the important announcements of the day to uh, Mrs. Bona. Hey, good morning, everyone. I am excited because, you know, yesterday being Earth Day, I spent some time out in the yard doing, doing those things that you have to do. And an occasional hug of the tree because that is my new thing, right, Mr. Coulard? <laughs> Absolutely. You, you and Superjoy are big tree huggers. Yeah. So if, if any of you have not checked out Superjoy recently, pull it up. Um, he is leading us with joy and, um, and great ideas. He is out there hugging a tree. And I think even there's a little Spanish that is being woven in. So that's good. That's one of the things that we should all take some time to learn as a second language at this time, right? <laughs> Oh, lots of good things. Well, we um, we are blessed this morning to have Ms. Falls with us, and she is our fifth grade teacher. She's looking good, doing well, missing um, missing school a lot. That was what we were talking about before before we went on the air. Is how much she misses being at Immaculate Conception with her fifth graders. Mrs. Falls, give us some updates. Okay, well, good morning, everybody. I just first wanted to give a shout out to my wonderful fifth graders. You all are working so hard and I'm so proud of you and I miss every single one of you. Um, I have a couple pieces of advice for the students here at Immaculate Conception. Um, the first one is I think it's really important at home to have a schedule and routine and sticking to it. Um, I think it's, this is important and I believe it helps students perform better. Um, the second thing is also having a, a proper learning space at home. I think this helps limit distractions as well as um, helps you stay organized, which I have talked to my fifth graders about this as well. And then the third one is to get plenty of exercise. The weather is getting nicer, so get outside and get some sunshine. Um, exercise helps us think better and also has a positive impact on us. Um, I hope you're able to be doing the Raider challenges that Mr. Goulard is posting on the webpage too. There we go. Good, good advice. Maybe you should put your cat away when you're at the Zoom meeting. I saw that yesterday. Yeah. Cats don't need to attend the Zoom meetings. <laughs> it's cute, but it is distracting. Well, yeah, yeah. I know. Sometimes they just wander through and that's one of the things that's actually been kind of fun is to see people in their home environments and um, you see an occasional pet or what have you. But yeah, I do agree with you that if at all possible, trying to have a space that becomes your own little space. And it's really tricky because all of a sudden the kitchen table at people's houses, um, a place where you just eat, have become the place where there's one, two or three devices set up. So that's a challenge too. Um, and we recognize that. But if you can find that spot where you can kind of really work, like for me, well, if I sat down on my bed to work, I don't think I'd, I couldn't do as well. So I almost, like she said, I kind of have to have a spot. I'm at, I'm at the kitchen table right now. So yeah, like I told my kids, it's good to sit at a table and a chair and just look like we're at school and ready to learn. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I did uh, participate in Ms. Paul's Zoom a week ago. That was really a lot of fun. And we posted it on Facebook and Instagram. And she has office hours today from 10 to 11, right? So fifth graders, I hope to see you there. I had some on Tuesday too, and I saw a lot of you. So I yeah. hope you could again and mm -hmm. say hi and ask questions. You know, yeah. And even fifth graders, even if you don't have a specific question right now, um, you know, go in and hear what the other students are saying. And Ms. Paul's can help you. Uh, tweak something that you're working on in grammar, get help with that uh, problem solving in math, whatever it happens to be. So good advice. I wanted to, um, I wanted to continue with our beautiful prayers that our eighth graders wrote. And this one is by Gabe. Dear God, please help the afflicted heal the suffering and bring those who have fallen asleep in anticipation of salvation. Jesus, Help world leaders to condemn this virus and protect everyone, afflicted and otherwise, and help prevent the spread of this pandemic. 
Teach us, O oh Lord, to care for one another and help us stop this outbreak. Amen. 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 Amen, Gabe. And I think, you know, like he said, the help us stop this outbreak and we're doing the right thing, even though it's really hard and challenging by staying home and protecting ourselves when we go out with gloves and a mask. Be, be safe. We want everyone safe. Um, tomorrow, we're excited that we are going to have Marathon T-shirt Day. And um, we're going to have a couple special guests here. I'll just leave that as an enticement to tune in tomorrow too. Um, so tune in for that. And uh, last time we had Marathon T-shirt Day and Spirit Wear Day, I did get some great photos from people. Um, I got, by the way, a great photo yesterday about um, one of our first graders watching Mrs. Curtin participating in a Believe and Read lesson. Um, this morning I already got a fourth grade picture of a student working on his family life religion project. So cool things, we post them, but also it's a way for us to stay super connected with you. So thanks. Mr. So Mrs. Clark. Bona, you know, could you give us, when, you, when you're gonna do these special dress, dress days, like tomorrow's gonna be a, a marathon t-shirt day, could you let me know? Cause I didn't get in the memo for uh, wearing plaid today. I know. Um, All I'm wearing is my Catholic there. school shirt. Oh, hey, Mrs. Falls, are we supposed to do something together right now? Right, yes. Right. <laughs> oh, so I, I should have had my coffee mug and my, my plaid shirt. That's right. Um, actually, Miss Falls, her mug, if you take a look at it, Mrs. Falls, can you show us that? So Wimbledon Championship, I'm sure that that's, um, I'm sure she's been there, right, Miss Falls? It actually, my parents have. So okay. this is my parents' mug. Okay. I, Awesome. One of the things that people might know, another interesting little piece of trivia about Ms. Falls and Ms. Kinzer, um, they are really, really good tennis players. So that's, <laughs> we got to get outside and start exercising, right? And right. I keep saying that it'd be fun to have a little match between Ms. Kinzer and Ms. Falls. And Oh, I agree. That'd be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. They can Maybe we'll set up a net in the gym and let them go at it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Coulard, I think you have a few things to talk to us about. Well, I just want to say is to make sure we look for mass today with, with Father Peterson, since it is Thursday, it's our mass day. And then we also, uh, I got a couple jokes. Um, why did the, why do trees hate riddles? Why do trees hate riddles? We're on a tree theme, aren't we? We are. <laughs> That was Earth Day yesterday. Super joys in the picture uh, because they get stumped easily. Oh, good one. They That's get stumped one. easily. Well, there's another one. Uh, we need another tree joke. Uh, what did the tree do when the bank closed? It opened its own branch. <laughs> Open its own branch. Oh, those are both good. So, so what's that um, at this theme going to be tomorrow? Are we going to continue on trees? I don't know, but you, we, I kind of go off that Big Earth Day and Super Joy's adventure. So that's where we came through with those tree jokes today. So Very nice. Uh, very nice. Any right. birthdays today? We do not have any birthdays. Uh, we're going to say our prayer. We like to keep uh, uh, every priest uh, each day in the Archdiocese. And today is Father William Perron, P-A-R-O-N. P -A -R -O -N. So if we keep him in our prayers, uh, always with Father James and Father John. All right. So, are you ready for our final prayer? Okay. Oh, well, first, let's do our Pledge of Allegiance. Got to have our pledge have in. Flag. Very good. There we go. Keep America strong. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And so, if we want to end up with the glory be, is that okay, Mrs. Bona? Sure thing. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. That's all I have for today, Mrs. Vaughn, except we could finally get out with uh, Let's Go. Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Raiders. Thanks, everyone. Marathon t-shirt day tomorrow. Wear red. See ya.